I know it's gonna be shocking on where we're going. Okay, where do I start? Drive Market is sponsoring today's video. I've been waiting for this moment. People won't even be able to recognize me. Well, I don't think I've officially said this. She got the job! We've got one. We've got two. <laughs> two. We've got three. We've got four. One, two, three. What's up, fam? Good morning from this lovely summer morning vacation. Summer vacation. We're still on summer vacation actually here with the kids. Uh, yeah, it's actually noon, but that's basically morning when it's on summer vacation. Yes, or when you're on summer vacation. You want to vlog, I know. We'll vlog in just a little bit, okay? It is noon, that is correct. You heard that correctly. We just finished up our like whole morning, basically, though. The kids just had breakfast. They just finished all their chores. You guys did incredible. They what? You wanna open packages? You know what? Me too. We are getting ready because we're gonna go on our very last summer vacation of the summer. I know it's gonna be shocking on where we're going. It's a destination we've never been before. <laughs> where are we going, guys? Disneyland! Disneyland! But I will say, it's been a long time since the whole family went. Like we dance competition for girls. For the girls dance competition. The girls are dancing in the Disneyland freaking perfect. Like, I am gonna cry. Lily has done this one time before. When she was, I think she was eight. I think she was eight. This time, both of the girls are doing it with their dance studio. So, because of that, we are taking advantage of that. And we are taking the whole fam to Disneyland. Everybody's going. Mimi's going. Poppy's going. Lily's dad's family is going. Like, we have so many people that are coming to this. And because of that, it is going to be one of the biggest trips of the year. Like I said, it's not very often that we all go. Like, we, I go a lot. And I, like, take combinations. But we don't really take the whole fam a lot. So, this is actually really exciting and they're all really excited hence the reason Addie wants to open up all these packages I like ordered a bunch of things it's gonna be really hot down in Anaheim so we have a bunch of things that got delivered we're gonna open some of them but anyway we leave tomorrow starting with my Thrive order we are leaving tomorrow we have a long day of travel which I'll get to more in a little bit I made my like monthly Thrive market order based around this trip for the most part I also got some things that like I needed here anyway but some of the staple snacks that I got are gonna be for this trip Thrive is basically an online grocery store but way better you have a membership to it either $12 a month if you're doing like a month to month or it can be $5 a month if you do it annually which is what I do but you get incredible savings on every order grocery shopping is expensive especially when you have like 100 kids especially with inflation and especially especially if you're trying to find healthier or more sustainable options out there a lot of the times those health food stores the prices are through the roof basically how it works is that through the membership they're able to make living a healthy and more sustainable lifestyle easy and affordable for everyone that's like what their goal is which was honestly like the reason why I would stay away from certain brands in the past because it was oh. so expensive right they are so confident with their pricing that if you don't make back the $60 membership and savings they will credit you the difference they'll even price match things if, if by chance you can find things for a better price they will price match it so anyway I ordered a bunch of snacks specifically for this trip let me show you some of the few that I got since we're gonna be doing a lot of eating out while we're in the park I wanted to balance some of it out with some of our favorite so these cliff bars Chris's favorite is the white chocolate macadamia nut I prefer the chocolate chip we're gonna bring these for a breakfast option or even just like a snack throughout the day I also got these for the kids they like the berry strawberry this is also going in our breakfast bag which I'm packing an entire breakfast bag just so that hopefully we don't have to eat out for at least breakfast for the entire time but breakfast snacks that's what I'm bringing but like for the big meals we'll probably be eating out just because we'll be in the park so balance little Kaden is the pickiest of all of our kids this did you hear me you are, aren't you? Picky. Do you like the kind bars? Yeah, these are his favorites. One of the only things that he will eat, especially when we're traveling, so I'll always pack him some of these. 
which this, you just cannot find a better price of these. The, like Thrive by far has the best pricing of this. I have the chocolate chip one. Yay! There you go. I actually haven't tried this yet. These are veggie flour pita crackers. I'm bringing these and then these avocado crisp, guacamole flavor, 10 out of 10. These are so good. Orders over $49 will always ship free, by the way. And then frozen orders ship over $120 for free. They don't only have snacks and food though. They have other stuff as well. Like the, I got sunscreen. I'm bringing the sunscreen. I did grab a few things to just restock in the house this isn't for the trip. Like I have these pasta shells made from chickpeas. And then of course like Andy's mac and cheese. Bao's Alfredo pasta, which I will put on the chickpeas. It's actually really good, this combination. And then garbanzo beans. Garbanzo beans are probably my favorite thing of life. I got three pegs of these to make tacos, put them in salads. I also got a sweet snack. I don't know if I'm gonna be bringing this. I don't really want it to melt. So these are gonna be so good. It's really easy to shop on their site too. You can completely filter out the catalog of products. So if you're keto, for example, like you just check that and it'll only show you all of the keto products. And they have over 90 different diets and values that you can pick from like gluten-free. I mean, like literally almost anything that you can think of. Imagine a grocery store that is customized to your needs. Like that is what this is. So anyway, I am going to pack my snack bag first and then I've got to get to all of our clothes to pack. I haven't even started packing the clothes, but try this out, you guys. Try out Thrive. You literally have nothing to lose. I'll have a link in my description box or you can go to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Scooby, my last name. You can get 30% off your first order plus a free gift worth up to $60. Free stuff. Like I wish I had that when I signed up. I didn't get those perks, so definitely take advantage of it. Also, when you place the order, it tells you like how much you saved in this order. I saved $56.23. So so worth it. Okay, I'm gonna start packing this stuff. I have so much to do. We leave tomorrow. Update you guys on our new car. We, as well as everybody else in the entire universe, were worried about these white seats with the kids, naturally. Like when you see the Tesla with the white seats and the kids, you're just like, there how's was, this gonna work? There was all over these seats and they wiped off with Glass cleaner. Oh. Glass Why are you using glass cleaner? <laughs> um, so I wanted to give you guys an update. So first of all, yes, they get dirty, just like we thought that they would. But like Chris said, they actually wipe off pretty decently. You're, um, you're supposed to use just like warm soapy water. Really? This is all I had because I cleaned all the windows. I did the seats. I did the screen. Like some people, do you see? Some people do. They put like a coating over it. You know what I'm yeah, talking about? It's, yeah, it's a um, it's a nano coating. I knew you'd know what it was because I don't know what it is. I, I just know. know that someone said something about it, and exactly. I was like, maybe I should do that. Should we do that? Is it too late? <laughs> oh. Anyway, uh, my personal detailer here was out here <laughs> cleaning the car because he's taking. Oh my gosh, I haven't even talked about this. But tomorrow, obviously, tomorrow we're leaving, and Lilia. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've even. I don't know. I don't think I've officially said this. Okay, where do I start? The girls are at dance right now and they're we're going, you know, to Disney for dance tomorrow. They perform on Friday. We're leaving Wednesday night, okay? They have dance right now, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for the summer. And a few months ago, we talked about Lilia applying for her first job, which would be teaching at the studio or assisting at the studio. She'd be an apprentice at the dance studio. And she went through this whole application process and interview type thing. And I'm sad that she can't be here to share the news with me right now because she's literally there doing it, but she got the job! Lily has her first freaking job. Like, it's like an apprenticeship and she has two classes a week. But anyway, she has her first job and that is so exciting and it's something that she literally loves. She started a couple weeks ago and she's now done it for, I think she's done like six classes total of this like assistant teaching thing and she has been loving it. Like she literally loves it. She had to take this like training course on like what to do if like a kid pees on the floor, or, like, you know, vomits or <laughs> just like different scenarios and she's already come home with a few stories which is super cute but not cute for her like in the moment probably but it's just funny to like hear her like stories and how she handles it so anyway that's where she is and where I'm going with this is that tomorrow is gonna be kind of complicated okay like I said earlier we're all leaving tomorrow to Disneyland but we're leaving in different ways and at different times what I mean by that is because the girls have dance tomorrow and Lilia actually has to work tomorrow, we cannot leave until after her class, which ends at 6.30, 5.45, 6.30. One of those times, I can't remember. I knew at the time of booking this, that's all that matters. Whatever time her class ends, like her teaching class, that's like the earliest possible time that she can leave the dance studio to then go like catch a flight down there.
there. So because both of the girls have dance tomorrow, we obviously couldn't leave until later in the evening. And I contemplated at first driving there and driving back. Cause when we're there, we actually need a car. Um, yeah, there's like so much to this, but when we're there, we need a car. We have to drive. I mean, unless we Ubered, but we have to like drive from one hotel to the next hotel for the dance thing. There's like a specific drop off place that we have to do. So we, you know, we needed to have a car there. It would just make it easier if we had a car there. So we were contemplating just driving down there, taking the bus down there, depending on who was with us. But we ran into an issue with the dance thing and we wanted to be there all day Thursday. Like we planned out every day of the trip. Anyway, long story short, which is now a long story, Chris is driving all of the boys down, except Big Kane and Big Kane didn't want to go to Disney. You guys know he's not like into the Disney thing. He's driving them all down tomorrow morning. So they're gonna wake up and they're gonna get in the car. That's why he's deep cleaning this thing. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't bad, but he's driving all the boys down tomorrow, first thing in the morning, and they're gonna have a boys road trip. Have you ever done this before? Taking a boys road trip? Like, no, I no. <laughs> maybe just like a quick going to dinner, but nothing. Yeah, I mean, I guess Tommy and Caden have done this drive a lot. Like, obviously, you used to always drive them, but... Yeah, I did it for years. Yeah, you did this drive for years, but a boy's trip. Like, normally, lately, we've been flying to Disney, so if you... Just a little rundown, if you're new here. We live in Northern California. Disneyland is in Southern California. It's about, from our new house, it's about a seven-hour drive. No, it's not. I just drove there. It took me 10 hours to get there, actually. I will challenge that. Okay, I don't want you to challenge that. It takes about seven hours to get there, and that's like if you're lucky without traffic. He's delusional, and he challenge drives exactly. illegally. Realistically, yeah, you could type it in in the middle of the night, and it'll say six hours, but it's not ever six hours. And you have to stop to charge the car. Tesla life, so it's actually gonna be longer. It's gonna be more like eight hours. <laughs> Anyway, so we go, we have this like dilemma always going back and forth between driving and flying. Um, Cause for fly, flying for us, we live 30 minutes away from the airport and it's like a 45 minute flight. It's like 50 minutes from up to down. Like it's the fastest flight of your life and Southwest has really good deals on flights a lot of the time, especially if you fly into Long Beach or Santa Ana airport, um, which is usually where we fly in and out of if we're going to Disneyland. So Chris is taking the, our new toy, <laughs> new car, and he's taking the boys down they're leaving first thing tomorrow morning. Lilia, you know, can't miss work. Both girls have class tomorrow. So after dance tomorrow, me, Lilia, Addie, and my mom, Mimi, are all going to fly down. But we're not gonna fly down until, our flight doesn't even leave until 7 p.m. So we're not even gonna get there until almost nine, um, at least to the hotel. We get there, we land, grab the Uber, go home, which you can actually pick us up from the airport, but you'd have to leave the boys, so we won't have, enough space so we probably won't do that we'll probably just uber but the boys are gonna get there way sooner than I we're getting there <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say so we're flying tomorrow they're driving tomorrow Chris is cleaning out the car I'm packing and I'm gonna load up the car with as much as I can that way I don't have to bring all the baggage onto the flight like ideally if I could load them so you in got me here taking all your baggage. you're gonna take all my baggage babe you, you've already again. done it you just took all my baggage <laughs> so bad was that my whole point? I, I like forget where I was going with that now. That was a lot of information in a matter of a few minutes. So he's driving, I'm flying. We're gonna meet there. And then I need to use the car on Friday to drive the girls from A to B. And then he's gonna drive home on Monday and we're gonna fly home on Monday. And at that point, it's only because we don't all fit in the car. My mom's leaving Sunday though with my dad. My dad's coming on Friday. Lily's dad's also coming on Friday. <laughs> and his sister's coming on Thursday, I think. Or are they coming on to, I don't know. We have so many people coming. It's like, it's this huge thing. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Our girls dancing down. Main Street, USA, Disneyland, California. I love it, I'm so excited. Also, oh my gosh, I'm gonna address this now while I can. I have so many questions about this in my background. This, everyone's like, did you get a new trailer? This is my uncle's trailer, okay? He's just, he had it in storage and now that we have the property, he brought it here and he's trying to sell it. So that, I just, I have so many questions about it's that. I'm just gonna address that really quick. It's gonna be sold, yeah, he, it, this is not our trailer. Our trailer is still back there, but I just, I have so many people asking. Yeah, that's not our trailer. <laughs> we just have the property now. We're like the family members now that have the property, so we get all this stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like when the family gets the property, like now they're the designated like party place and storage unit, which we wanted. We didn't want the storage, but we wanted the party place. No, yeah, we want we wanted that. Like that's, we signed up for that. We're on to the try-ons here. I'm so excited to show our outfits, our family outfits for this time. The kids are super excited about one of the days though. Maybe, let me know. Okay, I think it works. You chain it. Let me know if you can guess down in the comments what this might be for. But we have a really fun day of outfits planned that all the kids help um, plan out. And this one's Kyson's. I just need him to try on some of the sizes because this boy, this growing boy, is very hard to buy clothes for right now because he's like right in between a boy and a man. And it's hard to figure out what size is right. Okay, try this on. I have a few different shirts. Yeah. 
Ooh. Okay, take the pink off. This is the only sneak peek that you guys are getting, and it's only because I need them to try this stuff on. Look at you! I don't think you're ready uh -oh. for what's coming. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, isn't that great? What's the name? <laughs> People won't even be able to recognize me. This kid is fly. And then with your shoes and your oh my god. <laughs> you're great. Okay. Let me see, do it again. Oh my god, you're a mood. You are a mood. Tell me if you guys can guess what Kyson is Disney bounding. Comment down below. Unless you follow us on TikTok. I'm a little bit ahead on content there, so you probably saw it there first. Okay, I just spent the last four hours packing. I think I got everything though. I've got this full suitcase, this full suitcase, all of their dance stuff for the parade, and then this is all like of our, all of our breakfast items. I've got the toaster in here, some bread, the stuff that I got from Thrive Market earlier today, which by the way, don't forget, go to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Scooby to get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60. I'll have a link down in the description. I've got a bunch of stuff in here. It looks like a dressing room blew up in here, but everything that I need, I think, I hope, is right here. We're probably gonna load this in the cart in the morning, Chris is trying to leave at 7 a.m. It's currently almost 3 in the morning. Okay, so I think I've officially got everything except my like toiletries, which I'm gonna do in the morning. Again, I don't leave until 6 p.m. tomorrow, but I would ideally like to send as much of the luggage as we can in the car. That way we just like don't have to pay for it for the flight or like carry it around. And I'm officially the last one up. So that is my cue, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you guys in our next video. Some very exciting things. I know.